To me, Luigi. That's a generation. Nintendo gave us a way to make our own Mario levels. As many of us suspected, the game did so well that Nintendo made a sequel on the Switch. It's a Super Mario Maker 2 for the Nintendo Switch. Yahoo! Thanks for the intro, Luigi. Super Mario Maker 2 has the same concept as the first game. It's all about using all these items, characters, and tools at your disposal to make your own 2D Mario levels. It's a concept that allows for all kinds of creative level designs, some challenging and some full of nonsensical insanity. Surprisingly though, Super Mario Maker 2 has a story mode to it. It starts with Princess Peach's castle being accidentally torn down not by Bowser, but by a dog who happens to press the wrong button. So now Mario has to take on various jobs to win the money needed to rebuild the castle. It really just serves as a way to play a slightly more conventional 2D Mario game since you're playing through levels Nintendo made themselves. Some of them in modern graphics and others in retro graphics. It can also give you ideas on what to do in your own created levels. Some of them do present good challenges though. The game does present itself well. Its modern graphics stick to the standards set in New Super Mario Bros. Wii but with that additional HD polish from New Super Mario Bros. U. Of course, you can also change to Mario 1, Mario 3, and Mario World graphics when you want, and they all look just like how they looked back in the 80s and 90s, complete with solid sound design fitting for each graphical era represented. I also liked how there were a lot of music tracks and sound effects to play around with in the maker, even including tracks from Mario's 3D games. But now they've also included the 3D World graphics and art style which look really good. See? I told you 3D World works better as a 2D Mario game. The Maker part of Super Mario Maker is fairly easy to use and offers a lot to play around with. If you want to learn more about how to put together all these funky courses, there's an extensive tutorial that details every step of making a course. The transparent grid makes it easy to place items, blocks, and enemies anywhere as long as they don't bleed into each other, and extend the course to make everything from a simple yet challenging speedrun to a longer course with many twists and turns and things to collect. The more I figured out how to use everything, the more my creativity was allowed to flourish in this game and every setting they give you for finding just what you need, undoing the last action, or changing the water or lava levels allows you to make some amazing courses that rival the ones made by Nintendo themselves. Of course, with the Switch being a single-screen console rather than the two-screen Wii U, you do lose the ability to place everything with the touchscreen and then test it on the TV right away. You can, however, make the test courses using the touchscreen in undocked mode, and I must admit, using the touchscreen did feel more intuitive. The disappointment about this game that Nintendo could have avoided is the missing cosmetics, by which I mean gone are the amiibo unlocked character costumes of the original game and even some of the game's easter eggs. Also the 3D world theme is inevitably incompatible with the other four themes so when you change to that theme, you have to start from scratch regardless of what you've done before. Now fortunately the undo dog can bring you back to your progress on your previous level and it does kind of make sense given all the different stuff 3D World has that 1, 3, World and New Super Mario Bros don't. But I did want to point that out to caution everyone thinking about getting this game. But it's cool to have the cat power again and to drive a go-kart through a 2D Mario course. That's probably more fun than it should be. The maker itself though is very functional, and after finishing it, the game has you test the course to see if you can clear it from start to finish, which is a great way to ensure that nobody uploads an impossible to complete course. Once you pass that, you get the gratification of uploading your work for others to play. Oh, you must be very proud of yourself. This brings us to another key element that makes the Mario Maker games so successful. They're great community games. After all, a level maker game is at its best when you're able to share it with others, and that's a big thing here. Upload your work for everyone to enjoy while you play through other people's levels and like and comment on them while gaining some ideas for things to add to your future levels. I really liked seeing the global creativity of the Mario community, particularly the tributes to other games. Since the new Super Mario Bros. games were released two generations ago, people have wanted to play 2D Mario games with online multiplayer, and Mario Maker 2 lets you do that. You can play through any publicly uploaded course cooperatively or competitively in a versus mode through online play or local wireless play and co-op you're working together to reach the end while Versus has you aggressively race each other to reach the finish line. Get to the chopper! This multiplayer typically comes down to speedrunners versus dirty saboteurs, but it is a fun multiplayer mode like co-op. However, there are two problems with online multiplayer. While it is easier to find someone to play with any time online, you can't choose which course you're going to play. The best you could do is vote on the difficulty level and one will be randomly selected from the ever-growing ocean of fan-made courses. And that's only in co-op, in Versus you can't vote at all. The other problem is the connection. I had so many communication errors in playing online. Co-op wasn't too bad with this, but with Versus it happened way too frequently. Plus the lag in Versus mode was insane, almost to the point of being unplayable. There was one race where I actually won, but because of the poor connection with the Versus servers, that win wasn't registered. I thought it was something wrong with my internet, 
but all the other online functions in the game worked fine. I even went to the Power Rangers Battle for the Grid servers to make sure and got connected instantly with no lag. So Nintendo just needs to do something about the performance issues for the online multiplayer servers. Kind of funny how a game with this bad of lag in online multiplayer is advertising a special bundle with Nintendo Switch Online membership. Really? Super Mario Maker 2 isn't without its flaws and some people may prefer the original Wii U game for understandable reasons, but the Switch successor is still a great 2D Mario platformer and level maker all in one. Maybe the Switch's successor will get the definitive Mario Maker game with the flaws fixed, but until then, this is a great game worth playing for any fan of 2D platformers. And that's my review of Super Mario Maker 2 for the Nintendo Switch. If you like this review, check out my previous reviews of Super Mario Odyssey for the Switch and New Super Mario Bros. U for the Wii U. See you all next time! Oh, yeah.